All right, so we just unpackaged the uh, Manta DPF back exhaust. It's a twin three inch into four inch, I think it is. Uh, no muffler. And yeah, so that's gonna get put on. Um, it's already got an exhaust on it now, but it's some generic no-name one that we just don't really even know what it is. Uh, so we'll get that off. Chuck the prop one on, uh, and then it's going for a tune in a couple of weeks to do the ECM tune and the, also the transmission tune. So yeah, we'll put this on, see how easy it is to get on, and uh, see what it sounds like afterwards. Uh, so it's had a bit of a wash from uh, the hole in track, but still pretty dirty. But anyway, so here's the exhaust coming on here. And this is a DPF model. Um, we're not doing a DPF delete just for yeah insurance and all that sort of stuff and um yeah i just don't really need that sort of extra power at the moment we're just going to be towing a caravan around and that sort of stuff so we just want reliability going around australia don't want that sort of stuff crapping out in the middle of uh, middle of nowhere so yeah we'll get that exhaust put off and we'll chuck the new one on so we just give the bolt heads a bit of a spray with some uh, penetrant, CRC or any of that sort of stuff. Even the rubbers, yeah, just give them a bit of a hit. Usually get new ones anyway. Make it nice and easy to come off. Easy is the name of the game. side by side here definitely a lot beefier construction a lot thicker i think that one's only three and a half that's four inch no muffler so it should have a good nice note to it anyway we'll get it fitted up and see what it sounds like all right so the kit comes with all the hardware as well so that's good gaskets bolts uh, it just doesn't come with the old uh, with the hangers with new uh, rubber mounts so just have to reuse the uh, rubber hangers which is all right because they're all in good condition so we'll just pull them off the old ones and then put them onto the new one all done doesn't sound too bad uh, i'll take it for a road test and yeah just see how it goes so that's pretty good So just dropped the car off at Street Quick Performance in uh, Maddington, in Perth. 
pretty much going to be just re um, retuning that thing because it originally had a uh, one of those eBay plug-in tunes that came with the car and just never know how they're going to handle uh, towing a caravan and doing all that sort of stuff so pretty much get it done right these guys do the uh, transmission remaps as well so they'll pretty much be remapping the transmission so it doesn't um, shift gears all the time when you're trying to tow so and locks the converter up and all that sort of stuff so they're really good at what they do so yeah we'll um, see how it goes after this but yeah, he'll send it in now and pretty much see how it goes afterwards All right, so we've um, done probably about a thousand k's, uh, two thousand k's with this new tune um, and the auto tune as well. And wow, yeah, it's certainly a different beast. Um, drives a hell of a lot better. It, the gear changes are just seamless. Like you can't even tell they're changing gears, and um, it doesn't struggle to stay in six anymore when you're um, on highway speeds. It just stays in there, which is good. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely spot on loving it um yeah we just haven't hooked the caravan up yet obviously we don't have one but um, it'll be a different story once we start towing but um can't really compare it um towing yet because we haven't towed with a camp we used to tow with a camper trailer but obviously we don't have a camper trailer to test it so definitely um definitely a different experience now driving it but yeah 100 percent love it um but yeah just obviously update a bit further when we get the um get the caravan and we'll be able to tell you know how the tune goes but absolutely love it so yeah hats off to um, street quick performance there in maddington thank you